Welcome to TFN Smart Trading Action Alert. I'm Laura Cadden. Federal regulators of the Securities and Exchange Commission struggle to contain insider trading, but incidents are rising. And it's not just the high-profile cases we're used to hearing about in the media. According to Forbes last year, fully 20% of the SEC's investigations were focused on this issue, compared to 18% the year prior. Just this month, lawsuits have been filed for alleged insider trading relating to the News Corp's bid for Dow Jones & Company. Insider activity, like any other buying activity, leaves traces in the daily flow of market data. But how can a normal trader or investor find indications of buying that occur in anticipation of price-moving news and maybe take advantage of such stock moves legally? My guest today has found a way. Andrew Snyder is the editor of Volume Spike Alert, and I've asked him to clue us in on his secrets for cashing in on insider trading. Welcome, Andy. Thank you. So I've read studies that say 41% of all companies that are about to have a buyout bid proposed in the weeks and days prior have unusual trading activity. This is prior to any public announcement. What is the analytical approach you use to find these stocks? Well, first of all, anytime an insider buys uh, stocks of his company or, or even sometimes if they're a large holder of other companies, they have to uh, fill out forms and show the SEC what they're buying. So we go into those SEC forms, figure out what insiders are buying, take a look at why they're buying, what's going on with that company, and a lot of times it can lead us right to profits. So is unusual volume activity for a stock always an indication of profits to come? Because, you know, sometimes, of course, the stock just falls unexpectedly and then the price of the stock actually reflects that and moves up. Well, it's not always an indication of, of positive gains. It's usually an indication of something big is going to happen. If you see insiders at a biotech company mm -hmm. um, buying, you can go back and do the research and figure out the, the word on the street, the rumors, and see you know, whether there is going to be a, a downturn or a, a, an upturn. It's a good way to look to see what's happening. You can get a good feel of what's going to happen, and, and you can figure out what the insiders know before the street does. When you talk about insiders, we're talking about not only people within a company, but like for a pharmaceutical company, sometimes I've read you describe how doctors might release the information from studies, mm -hmm. things of that nature. Mm -hmm. On the SEC uh, forms, it's usually the, the official insiders, but then there's people you know, that trickle the whole way down the, the, the food chain. So you have uh, research assistants, doctors, even people that, that print the press releases ahead of time. If you can follow that, that trading activity, it's not always insiders, but just that heavy volume, the heavy trading volume, you can figure out what's going on. So you use these, um, these volume activity spikes in a stock as your kind of primary alert, but there are under other indications that you follow, right? Mm -hmm. So what would be the common traits that winning plays have in common? Sure. Well, first of all, the first thing I look for is volume. That's my indicator to, to say, hey, so there's something to here to look for. Then I always go to the news. I try to figure out, you know, why, what would be the, the reason for somebody to buy. Sometimes they just buy. It's a, a scheduled buy. You know, you, you don't find any news, so you skip over that. Um, if we find a good news story, then we look onto the fundamentals, see what the company's doing, what their books look like. And then from there, we kind of follow the rumors. There's all sorts of message boards. You can always call the company, see what's going on, call competitors. And so there's, there's all sorts of ways once you find the stock with the unusual volume. You find that as your, your trigger point, then you go and do the research from there. The timing is critical then well, certainly. for profits, right? Mm -hmm. Certainly, uh, timing's a big thing. If insiders are buying, sometimes they buy just a day or two before the news. Sometimes it's a, a month ahead of the news. So if you can figure out, you know, by doing your research when to do it, and a lot of times you have to get in there right away and buy before it starts to spike. Can you provide us with an example? Do, is there a stock you're currently following that has all of these indicators in place? Sure. Evergreen Energy has been a good one for us. We bought it about two weeks ago. The insiders were buying, and now uh, stock price went up about 20% in 10 days for us. So we're doing really well. The company um, does a lot of uh, they clean coal for the, the, the power plant industry, so they, they're getting out there and really getting their products out, and the insiders were buying, and, and price went up. Very interesting. Well, thank you so much. Thanks for coming on the show. Well, thanks for having me. My pleasure. To learn more about Andy's trading information service, Volume Spike Alert, go to www.volumespikealert.com. Please tune in next week for another profitable opportunity on TFN Smart Trading Action Alert. For TaipanFinancialNews.com, I'm Laura Cadden.